Hey guys, Cody SCM here, and welcome back to another episode of The Destiny Club, the show where I take a look at the awesome comments left by you guys, and I respond to them. If you want to see one of your comments featured in next week's episode of The Destiny Club, just leave a comment on any of this week's videos, and I'll go through and pick some of my favorites. But enough about all that, let's get started. Up first, user PLXMC commented, What do you think about the new expansion, Rise of Iron, and what do you think about it being Fallen themed? I mean, I think the Rise of Iron promotional art looks really good, and I'm excited to see how Bungie will actually implement that into the game. As far as will it be good, I mean, only time will tell. Obviously, we don't know anything about it really at this point, but I'm assuming that we'll see more about it at E3, and I'm excited for the reveal. I feel like Bungie really needs to knock this DLC out of the park and try to get a lot of the, the year one players who have left the game back on board with this as we move forward towards the inevitable release of Destiny 2. Uh, and I'm optimistic they can do that. I think that Bungie is going to do the best that they can with this and you know, hopefully they just deliver us a really cohesive and, and content filled experience. As far as it being Fallen themed, I would have liked to have seen something Cabal themed, uh, I think that they need to be explored a little bit more in game, but the Fallen are a really interesting enemy race and I think there's a lot of cool things that they can do with them, so we'll just have to wait and see how it actually plays out in game. But anyways, thank you for your comment. Up next, the Darkest Wolf commented, what do you think is the most annoying enemy in Destiny? That's easy for me, the most annoying enemy to me in Destiny are wizards. I think wizards are the biggest assholes in Destiny, and I'll tell you why. They, they always have a shield, and then once you drop that shield, I typically don't carry solar weapons, I typically have like a void sniper or something. So once I actually do get the shield down and I'm getting ready to kill one of these things, I get it to like a quarter health, and it does that gentle little glide to the left, like it's some sort of rotted undead ballerina. I mean, it's really, really frustrating, and it really pisses me off. So, you know, I understand if some of the other enemies make you mad. I know that it sucks to get shield bashed into a wall, and taking silence can be pretty annoying, but wizards? Oh, I would totally be fine if I never saw Omnigol or another wizard ever again. So in last week's episode of the Destiny Club, I asked you guys if you could design any weapon for use in Destiny, what would its perks be, what would its name be, and what would it look like? You guys did an awesome job on this. There are some super creative ones, some really funny ones, so let's get straight into these. Up first, Jimmy McChardich commented, Exotic Rocket Launcher, the Cornucopia. Exotic Perk, Lover Not a Fighter. This weapon doesn't do any damage to enemies. The first perk, Bountiful. When this weapon is shot at the feet of the holder, it releases 12 orbs of light. Second perk, Healing the Cracks. When this weapon is shot at the ground, any teammate in the blast radius regains their health, or Might of Rome. When this weapon is shot, any teammate in the blast radius receives an overshield. I really like what you did here by making this super supporty weapon go into your heavy slot, because we typically think about heavies as being a way to deal an absurd amount of damage really quickly, and it's cool that you made this healing type weapon be a trade-off for that boss killing damage that we normally associate with like rocket launchers and you know the machine guns and stuff. So that's a really cool balance thing. Secondly, I like the fact that you know Destiny doesn't really have a, a way to be sort of a dedicated healer for your team and I think that that's something that it could really use. So I think this is an awesome idea and I think you did a great job on this weapon design. Up next, Mr. Melee commented, name, Lash of a Thousand Volts, weapon type, Heavy Whip. This weapon is unique as it is an electric whip. Once opened up, it puts you in a third person perspective. Use the right bumper to whip across at nearby enemies. Exotic Perk. Using the right trigger not only whips across, but leaves an electric radius that stays there for a short time and eventually drains away. And then for the flavor text he put, For many years the darkness has lashed at us and forced us back, but now we can fight back with the same harshness as they have given us. And that's from Eris Morn. 
I really think this is an awesome weapon idea. I would love to see more melee type weapons in Destiny moving forward. And uh, a heavy whip that's electric, that's a super cool idea. It reminds me of Whiplash from Iron Man or something like that. And there's also an electric whip in Warframe, and that thing's super fun to use. So that would be great to have something like that in Destiny. So good job on this comment. And finally, Michael Canale is coming in with probably the funniest comment of the week. He said his weapon would be a giant flaming pizza slicer, so you could serve up some ass beatings to your foes. The perk would be burning cheese. This would cover your enemies with flames for 5 seconds. The other perk would be light on the sauce, less ammo for a greater attack. Uh, I think this is super funny man, it made me laugh the first time that I saw it. I think a lot of other people thought it was really great too. Uh, as far as that being in Destiny, I mean I say why not? There's basically a giant pizza cutter in Bloodborne and it looks awesome and I think it could work out in Destiny too. So who knows, maybe Bungie's listening and you know maybe we'll get to have a pizza party in the tower. Good job on this comment. Alright, and so that brings me into the question of this video. You guys answer this in the comments down below. I'll go through, pick some of my favorites, and I'll respond to them and show them in next week's episode of The Destiny Club. If you guys could design a PvP mode, what would it be and how would it play? Would it be something similar to how The Division does the Dark Zone? Or would it be another game mode that we don't currently have in Destiny? You guys think about it, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll show some next week. But anyways, that wraps up everything that I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching today's episode of The Destiny Club. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on this video. And also, make sure to subscribe to Destiny Follower for the latest Destiny news, lore, and entertainment. As always, my name is Cody SCM, and thank you for watching Destiny Follower.